quilts and I'm here to share this very large bag this is actually a Hobby Lobby bag and it's filled with scraps I actually received these scraps from a sewer not a quilter so there are going to be fabrics that are not 100% cotton included in the bag and I'm just here to show you what I do with them how I sort them that kind of thing so first we'll just see what's in the bag so already on top I can see that I do have some cotton pieces. And so that's one of the reasons why I always take the scrap bags from her. Because she doesn't just use dressmaking fabrics all the time. She's got, when she cuts out pieces from the clothing, she has very odd, weird shape things. And I just cut these down into more manageable pieces. Put some in my strings containers. Again, more cotton fabric. So even though she's a sewer and not a quilter, I still opt to receive fabric bags from them. Now here is some towel-like material. I don't have anything that I can do with this. I'll try to wash it and see if I can just use it as a scrap rag for cleaning or something. And then I always just separate out all of the 100% cotton pieces. And again, she even has things in here that I can use to make string quilts with. So I really like that part as well. She has little fleece pieces. And again, these are some of the pieces that can be used in dowel clothing because they're so tiny pieces of minky i will keep this because when i do textured quilts sometimes or textured pieces not necessarily quilts but i have made like animal blocks in my on my embroidery machine and some of them want you to have specialty fabrics i also can keep some of the specialty fabrics for um crazy quilts as well so yeah I do keep a lot of that now I have a big piece of fleece here that I think can just be made into a kennel quilt just double it up so I'm going to save this for a lady that I know makes the kennel quilts so this has been sewn she looked like she was making one of those little bibs here I don't think you can see it all in the camera, but she was making a bib and then she decided to stop. I'm not sure if this blue piece is 100% cotton. So what I do is I put it aside and then I'll test it. The same thing with this brown. I'm not sure if it's 100% cotton, so I'll do a burn test on that. This is like some lining for... Uh, clothing so I will put that aside this is really pretty rainbow it's not cotton look like she had sewed it into some sort of a scarf has some really lace pretty lace on here and this is one of those things that I will keep for a crazy quilt that I plan to do in the future we've got some sparkle netting I'll keep that and then we've got more bib cutout pieces. I'll just include that for the kennel quilts. And what we can't use in the actual kennel quilts, we can definitely use for stuffing on dog beds and such. So it's a lot of cotton in here today. Now this is a piece of fleece. So that would be a good piece to use. Some more fleece here. This here is kind of a rayon print. It looks like some of the Disney characters. I don't watch a lot of cartoons, so you'll have to tell me what this is. But somebody might want this to do something with. So I'll put it to give to someone else. 
And then we've got a piece of Christmas cotton print. So now we've got Mario fabric and she's got quite a bit of it. So this is really cool. I'll make a couple of pillowcases. I'd say it's about two yards of Mario print. So I can make some pillowcases from my nephew who loves Mario. This is a piece of flannel. So I'll just put it down for stuffing. This is more of that towel that was cut up. So now I see that it is actually a towel and not just towel yardage. This piece here is from Frozen. It was making a little child book. So what I will do is I'll keep it because sometimes when I'm doing my lights, just to have some text, and I don't really care what the text say. Normally, I have to buy fabric to get text, so I already have some here. This is more of that print. And so she just bought some mainstay bath towels that she apparently cut up. This is a piece of a rag cloth. But I just put them to the side. If I can use them, I use them. And if I can't, then I just pitch it. Some other pieces of cotton fabric that was cut into some shape. This one is a piece of rayon, it feels like. A piece of suiting. And I know someone would love to make something with that for a dial. So this will be put aside for that. Then we've got some ruffle type fabric here and I think I might keep this and use some of this in a crazy quilt. Making quick decisions here. <laughs> So now we got another piece of fabric that's about a half yard or a little more than a half yard. It's the Wizard of Oz fabric. So I will keep it. I don't have any of that fabric. Another piece of flannel here. This is some black again. Any of the solids that I get from someone else, I always do a burn test on them to make sure that they're 100% cotton if I want to use it in a cotton based quilt. So this is some fa a fairy print. Another piece of that. So see, I got this from a sewer and she has a lot of cotton fabrics in here so I always take whatever someone gives me and I thank them profusely and then if I can't use it I pass it to someone else and if no one else wants it then I will try to donate it to Goodwill or just go ahead and trash it but I always take it because you never know when they're going to come back with the good stuff so this one here even has ice skates on it so I've done some ice skating this is NASCAR fabric Again, a good chunk of yardage. I've got some nephews that really are into their cars. They have chargers. So I will make some pillowcases with this. And again, it's two yards of fabric. Now this one's a fun print because I had a lady that commissioned me to make five memory quilts. And she actually used the Ninja Turtle fabric. And I didn't have any of it left. I actually used everything that she gave me. So some more stuff I can put into my strings. Got another couple of pieces here of the pink sparkle tool. And in here are little quarter inch strips of fleece. I don't know what she was doing with those. But I know somebody that does rug cooking. And she can definitely use those. Here is some pillow pets.
fabric. I have no idea what pillow pets are. I have not watched that, but I can definitely use the very bright print. Here's a bigger piece of the flannel. More fleece pieces here. Oh, we got service vehicles. We've got helicopter, police car, ambulance, and fire trucks. Pretty cool. I don't have any of those novelty prints and plan to do um, I spy quilt at some point. So I'm at the bottom of my bag and the last piece of fabric I have is St. Louis Rams fabric and there is plenty of this in here. And I know that the uh, Rams are no longer in St. Louis so a lot of people do not want Rams memorabilia. However, I have a friend that loves the Rams no matter where they are. She still has all of her memorabilia. And so this would be something that I can make her a keepsake with. And it's a lot of yardage here. It's about, I'm going to say 60 inches wide. And I've got a full, maybe three or four yards. So yes. So in this bag, this time I actually got more stuff that I can keep than in the last time I got stuff from her. The last time I got stuff from her, I had a lot of dressmaker stuff. So yes, this is a four yards plus this extra section here from here to here where it's cut from here all the way down to here. So yeah, she's got about 12 inches cut out of the fold. So yes, this is quite a bit of fabric here. And so I will do something and just maybe do something very simple because I'm not intending to, I wasn't intending to make that for someone, but I'll do something very simple, strip quilt or something very simple and just give it to them because they love the Rams. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to show you what I have. These are all of the tile materials. These are the things that I need to do a burn test on, the solids. And then this here is the entire stack of cotton prints that I am keeping. So yes. So you can get a good bargain just by taking scraps from people even if they're not quilters. So I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.